What is up guys, welcome to your 36th I think and last tutorial in this little mini series we have right now and it's going to be a real quick tutorial and the only thing we have to do is implement one last method and that's from the key listener interface and what we need to do is we need to put first public void key pressed and we just need to make a little key so we know when to exit our program so key event e and let's just go ahead and put all right if e dot get key code um set that equal to method of course is equal to let's just put key event vk underscore es escape right there so pretty much if you hit escape on your keyboard what do you want to do we need to call stop and remember this was a method we inherited that pretty much stops our program so that's pretty much all we need to do but we still get an error up here because we didn't implement key released and key typed so let's go ahead and implement them real quick public void key released and it's going to take key event e and it's not going to do anything so now let's just copy this whole thing right here and we need to implement one more method to fill up fulfill our promise and that's going to be key typed and now we shouldn't get any errors again you can implement a method and not do anything with it this pretty much does nothing and that's what we wanted to do we only need to do this so if we didn't do this we would have no way of ending our program so now with our errors gone I'm gonna run this program and show you guys what it's doing hopefully and please guys just don't follow along and watch my tutorials follow along and type it as well because since you're not going to be able to see this it's really really important um, the only way you can understand this is to actually see it so that's why you guys need to do it so as it starts out my mouse is in the center of the screen by default now I can move my mouse around any way and that cursor stays in the middle of our screen but my background image which is four tiles it's moving indefinitely whatever way I move it so I can move it left I can scroll my mouse left forever and the tile is just going to move forever and ever and it's going to be never ending and I can move it in any way up down like this so again that's how you use the mouse look feature and that's how in 3d games like Call of Duty and stuff like that you can look and scroll your mouse to the left and instead of looking to the left and stopping when it gets to the edge of the screen it just goes in circles and circles and circles or if you move right your just guy goes in circles and circles and keeps going on forever so this is how we would do this and when we get into 3d we're gonna be using something very similar to this and I'm not gonna have to reteach it and also when you're building 2d games you can move your cursor to the right and have your character run to the right forever and ever and ever instead of just moving to the right over here and one that gets to the edge of your screen stop it so that's how you can have games that are bigger than the actual size of your screen like Super Mario Brothers where if he runs to the right you get a new piece of the game and new background new characters you run into so that's it for this tutorial hopefully you followed it and uh hopefully you are now up and running the new mouse look feature but i don't want to keep rambling so i just want to take this time thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out my next tutorial it's going to be awesome you are well on your way into being a full-fledged game developer so thank you guys one last time don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next tutorial